One way or another, we are so far, globally, we are so far above the population and the consumption levels which can be supported by this planet that I know in one way or another it's going to come back down. So I don't hope to avoid that. Uh, I hope that it can occur in a, a, a civil way, I, I, and I mean civil in a, in a special way, I, peaceful. Peace doesn't mean uh, that everybody's happy, but it means that conflict isn't solved through violence, through, through force, uh, but rather in other ways. And so uh, that's what I hope for. Uh, that we can, I mean, the planet can support something like a billion people, maybe two billion, depending on how much liberty and how much material consumption you want to, to, to have. If you want more liberty and more consumption, you have to have fewer people. And conversely, you can have more people. I mean, we could even have eight or nine billion, probably, if we have a very strong dictatorship, which is smart. It's, unfortunately, you never have smart dictatorships. They're always stupid. So, but if you had a smart dictatorship and a low standard of living, you can have it. But, but we want to have freedom and we want to have a high sentence. So we're going to have a billion people. And we're now at seven, so we have to get back down. I hope that this can be slow, relatively slow, and that it can be done in a way which is relatively equal. Uh, you know, so that people share uh, the experience and you don't have a few rich, you know, trying to force everybody else to, to deal with it. So those are my hopes. I mean, these are pretty pessimistic hopes, you know, but I mean, that's, that's what lies ahead. And uh, within that hope, um, do we need a revolution to, 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 to come to peace? And if we need a revolution, what kind of revolution do we need? So a key issue here is the speed of the decline. We hope for a slow decline because that gives you time to adjust. If we had a volcano explosion, that's rapid. Suddenly, overnight, agricultural production went down by 40 or 50 percent, just like that. Uh, the globe can't peacefully adjust to such a shift like that. Uh, depletion of cheap energy is a slow process. You know, there will still be oil 100 years from now, but it'd be much more expensive. We have a chance to adjust to that in a more or less 